Have you ever noticed how some fish have bright red or pink flesh, while others are completely white? You might have seen salmon glowing orange on a dinner plate next to a flaky white tilapia and wondered, what's really behind that difference? Is it about the type of fish, their diet, or where they live? And does it actually matter when it comes to nutrition, taste, or cooking? Today, we're diving deep into the science and secrets behind whitefish versus redfish. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why they look, taste, and even behave so differently in the ocean and on your plate. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the most obvious difference, the color of their flesh. Redfish, like salmon, trout, and tuna, are known for their pink or reddish hues, while whitefish, such as cod, haddock, pollock, and tilapia, have pale, almost translucent meat. The reason for this difference lies in one fascinating molecule, myoglobin. Myoglobin is a protein found in muscle tissue that stores oxygen, just like hemoglobin in our blood, myoglobin helps deliver oxygen to the muscles, allowing them to function efficiently. The more active a fish's muscles are, the more oxygen they need, and therefore, the more myoglobin they contain. The color of the flesh comes directly from this myoglobin content. Redfish are generally strong swimmers. They often travel long distances in the ocean, migrating across vast waters. Because they need constant energy and endurance, their muscles are packed with myoglobin, which gives their flesh that deep red or pink tint. Salmon, for example, swim upstream for hundreds of miles during their spawning season, requiring immense stamina. The constant muscle activity means their tissues must be rich in oxygen, and thus rich in myoglobin. Whitefish, on the other hand, tend to be short distance or burst swimmers. They usually live near the sea floor or in calmer environments, relying on quick sudden movements rather than sustained effort. Since they don't need as much oxygen in their muscles, they have much less myoglobin, which results in lighter colored flesh. But color isn't just about muscle activity. Diet plays a huge role too. Many redfish, especially salmon and trout, owe their vivid pink or orange tone not only to myoglobin, but also to a pigment called astaxanthin. This pigment is found in the crustaceans and plankton they eat. Astaxanthin is the same compound that gives shrimp and lobsters their reddish color when cooked. When fish consume these pigment-rich creatures, the astaxanthin builds up in their muscles intensifying their color. That's why farmed salmon, which don't eat the same natural diet as wild ones, often need a supplement of astaxanthin to achieve that recognizable orange-pink color. Without it, their flesh would be closer to grayish-white. Whitefish, by contrast, usually feed on smaller organisms or plant-based materials that don't contain significant amounts of these pigments, so their flesh stays white or pale. Now, aside from appearance, texture and flavor also differ significantly. Redfish tend to have a richer, oilier texture because their muscles are adapted for endurance swimming. These oils, especially omega-3 fatty acids, help their muscles stay flexible and efficient in cold water. This gives redfish their distinct, full-bodied flavor that's often described as buttery or bold. It's one of the reasons why salmon, tuna, and trout are considered fatty fish and are prized for both their taste and health benefits. Whitefish, in contrast, have leaner muscles and lower fat content. This gives them a light, delicate texture and a mild flavor, making them perfect for dishes that emphasize seasoning, marinades, or frying. Their subtle taste makes them extremely versatile in cooking, from fish and chips to baked fillets and stews. When it comes to nutrition, 
both white and red fish are excellent sources of protein, but they differ in fat content and types of nutrients. Redfish are often packed with heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids, known for reducing inflammation, improving brain health, and lowering the risk of heart disease. The oils in redfish also contain fat-soluble vitamins like D and E. On the other hand, whitefish are much lower in fat and calories, making them an excellent choice for those who want a lean protein source. They're rich in essential nutrients such as vitamin B12, phosphorus, and selenium. In short, redfish bring the healthy fats, while whitefish bring the lean protein, both serving their own nutritional purpose. Now let's talk about how these differences affect cooking. Redfish, like salmon or tuna, can handle stronger cooking methods, grilling, smoking or searing, because their higher fat content keeps the flesh moist and flavorful even at high heat. The oils prevent them from drying out too quickly. Whitefish, however, can easily become dry and flaky if overcooked. That's why they're often poached, steamed, or lightly fried. The goal is to preserve their tenderness without losing moisture. In short, redfish can take the heat, while whitefish require a gentler touch. You might be wondering, is one type actually better than the other? The answer depends on what you're looking for. If you want a rich source of omega-3s and don't mind a bolder flavor, redfish like salmon, trout, or tuna are excellent choices. But if you prefer something mild, easy to digest, and lower in calories, Whitefish like cod, tilapia, or haddock might be the way to go. For a balanced diet, including both types gives you the best of both worlds, a mix of lean protein and healthy fats. There's also an ecological angle to consider. Many redfish species, especially tuna, are overfished due to global demand. Whitefish like pollock or cod are often more sustainably sourced depending on the fishery. Choosing responsibly caught or farmed fish helps maintain balance in marine ecosystems. So, next time you're at the market or ordering seafood, it's worth checking where your fish comes from, not just what color it is. In essence, the color of a fish tells the story of its lifestyle, environment, and even diet. Redfish are the marathon swimmers, strong, oily, and full of energy reserves that give them endurance and flavor. Whitefish are the sprinters, lean, quick, and efficient, with a mild taste that makes them culinary chameleons. The next time you're preparing dinner or choosing sushi, you'll know that the difference between a white filet and a red one isn't just visual. It's biological, nutritional, and even ecological. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.